Now, over the past many months, Casey and I have traveled across the country to deliver a message of hope that decline is a choice and that we can, in fact, succeed again as a nation. Nobody worked harder, and we left it all out on the field. Now, following our second place finish in Iowa, we've prayed and deliberated on the way forward. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. We need a president who will close our southern border today. We need Donald Trump. We need a president. We need a president who will unite our country. We need Donald Trump. It's over, gang. The Republican establishment has read the writing on the wall, and they are all now rallying around President Trump, who is officially stronger than he has ever been. We're going to see what's really behind the DeSantis endorsement of Trump. We're going to see the latest on the Nikki Hillary Haley embarrassment, and we're going to see what to expect for New Hampshire and the road ahead to November. Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patriot professor, here to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. So as you saw, it is official. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has suspended his campaign and has officially endorsed President Trump to crush bumbling Biden, the incontinent in chief in November. Now, you know, if you've been following this channel for some time, and again, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button if you've not, but if you've been following us for some time, you'd know that this was inevitable. It was always, always a matter of when, not if. I mean, for all kinds of reasons. Practically speaking, when all said and done, Ron DeSantis basically ran out of money, okay? Bottom line. I mean, but he put all his eggs in the single basket of Iowa. He personally visited every single county in Iowa, all 99. The legacy media made a big deal out of it, so it's not for lack of publicity or coverage. He spent $60 million, $60 freaking million dollars on campaign ads in Iowa, and he lost. And I mean, he didn't just lose. He lost it by 30 freaking points. So practically speaking, the fact of the matter is the guy ran out of money. He ran out of steam. He lost donor after donor after donor after, after, as a result of this Iowa embarrassment, and he sunk to single digits in New Hampshire. I mean, again, not to be cruel here. It's just raw reality. DeSantis is in Chris, Krispy Kreme, Christie territory in the polling. I mean, he really collapsed that badly. And we always knew he would. There was no way DeSantis' campaign ever held a smidgen of a chance to win the nomination against Trump, except for one thing. There was only one possible conceivable way DeSantis could have pulled this off. Only one, and you know it. Only if somehow, some way, the establishment, our crooked ruling class, through their utterly ridiculous use of lawfare, were successful in kicking Trump off the ballot. That was DeSantis's only possible path to victory. That's why DeSantis has been rooting for these indictments. He's been cheerleading them. He's been doing everything he can to ensure that they take Trump out. He's been on the side of Pelosi. That's precisely what made his campaign from its very inception so patently incoherent. Country music superstar John Rich foregrounded this incoherence perfectly. Quote, when the guy you just endorsed has been raided, indicted, spied upon, and incessantly beaten with the baton of communism, but you ran against him anyway? You assisted the system we're trying to take down. Ron's words ring hollow should have waited to 2028. Bullseye. Absolute bullseye. John Rich. We together were all watching the establishment try to weaponize the system to take down President Trump. But instead of defending him, instead of directly opposing and rising up against that system, you assisted it by running against him. Bullseye. You can't possibly coherently market yourself as the candidate to take on the establishment when your actions so blatantly align with the establishment. 
You can't plausibly pass yourself off as the anti-establishment candidate when you're so obviously and fully supported by the establishment. That is what ultimately sank Ron DeSantis's campaign. It's utter and total incoherence. But his dropping out actually admits something, doesn't it? DeSantis is suspending his campaign and endorsing Trump actually reveals something. It actually reveals the real reason DeSantis dropped out. You know what it is? Well, we're going to find out. But first, gang, you may have heard about President Trump issuing a dire warning about America and the very thing we depend upon to live, the U.S. dollar. Now, if Trump's warning comes true, this could be, as he said, bigger than losing any war. But if Trump's prediction is right, and he's, as you know he's been right about a lot of things, and we lose our status as the world's reserve currency, I mean, just imagine how that could impact your retirement savings and your quality of life. So that's why you should take Trump's warning seriously by clicking on that link below right now or go to turleywarning.com because there you'll see what thousands of Americans are doing to help protect their savings before it's too late. Plus, gang, when you click on that link below right now, you'll see how to get up to $10,000 in free silver to protect your savings. But don't wait. We may not have long if Trump's prophecy comes true. So hurry up, click on that link below, or go to turleywarning.com right now. So given that Ron DeSantis' only possible path to securing the nomination was the success of the lawfare to take Trump off the ballot, what does his suspending his campaign and endorsing Trump actually reveal? It reveals that both he and his advisors have come to the conclusion that that ain't gonna happen. The lawfare has failed. The indictments have failed. The mugshot has failed. It all failed. What DeSantis thought was his only ticket to the nomination, right? Trump getting kicked off the ballot by this weaponized legalism. He is realizing and admitting that is not going to happen. That's what we officially learned as of this weekend. As far as the Republican establishment is concerned, and remember, they were behind this. Trump has beaten their blatant attempt at thwarting his return to office. So that's why being the snakes that they are, they're all rallying around him, including now Ron DeSantis. Now, his dropping out and endorsing Trump just a couple of days before the New Hampshire primary was actually a very, very smart move on his part. Probably the only smart move we've seen from him since his disastrous decision to try to challenge Trump. But what DeSantis' suspending of his campaign and endorsing Trump does is it sends the vast majority of his voters to Trump's camp, thus securing his victory in New Hampshire and, by default, the Republican nomination. The latest University of New Hampshire CNN poll that just came out shows that 62% clear supermajority of DeSantis' supporters will vote for Trump in New Hampshire. It's precisely what Ben Shapiro and a number of other DeSantis supporters have been advocating over the last several days. It was time for DeSantis to bow out and together let's rally behind Trump and crush Biden in November. So that's what DeSantis did. He bowed out. He bowed out gracefully. He endorsed Trump and basically all but guaranteed Trump run away with this as of Tuesday. And the polls are bearing this out. The latest Emerson polls Trump up by 15. When you factor in leaners, which would include DeSantis voters, he sourced to 53% support and a 16-point lead. The latest USA Today Suffolk poll, the one that showed that the supermajority of DeSantis' supporters are switching to Trump, that actually has Trump up by nearly 20 over Hillary Haley. I mean, the enthusiasm for Trump second term, it's through the roof. Uh, here's what it looked like when Trump arrived in New Hampshire. Check this out. And Trump even had a little gift for Ron DeSantis. <laughs> Okay. He just said, will I be using the name Ron DeSanctimonious? I said, that name is officially retired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. The nickname Ron DeSanctimonious has now officially been retired. They're finally, as they always should have been, they are now finally allies 
in destroying Biden and humiliating Nikki Haley. Hillary Haley, of course, was yet again publicly embarrassed by Senator Tim Scott's endorsement of Trump that we saw at the very beginning. With Scott's endorsement, every single major South Carolina politician from Lindsey Graham to their governor has officially snubbed the former South Carolina Senator Nikki Haley. In fact, things are so bad for Hillary Haley. Look at who they dredged up to try to rally her support. None other than the completely disgraced Adam Kinzinger. Is there anything that will make you smile bigger than sending Trump to defeat? This is a once in a lifetime chance. Your vote in the primary matters more than ever because together we can stop Trump. Imagine his orange face turning bright red when he sees he won't even make it to the general election. For eight years, Trump has been everywhere and only you can change the channel. Ouch. I mean, that's just so cringeworthy. I mean, talk about someone who ought to be embarrassed, but obviously isn't. It's just, I mean, really, everything Kinzinger, he doesn't even mention Hillary Haley by name. I mean, the desperation is just so wincingly embarrassing at this point. Look, gang, when all is said and done, What's left of the establishment's coup against or attempted coup against Trump is just desperately grasping at straws at this point. What we're seeing is the vast majority of the Republican establishment recognizing the inevitable. Trump has faced two impeachments, a J6 kangaroo court, four indictments, 90 plus felony charges, and he's stronger than ever. The establishment has lost and Trump in many ways has already won. As many of you know, we have unfortunately been completely and totally demonetized, which is putting our daily communication with one another at risk like never before. Now, we are actively working on getting this resolved, but as things stand, this channel has, uh, without any warning, been totally and completely demonetized. And as Elon Musk said so powerfully last week, the whole point of these demonetization efforts is to deliberately try to make us patriots feel like we're all alone. They want to sever our relationship with each other and force on us a kind of digital solitary confinement so as to demoralize us and discourage us like never before. But to their horror, it's not working. Over this past week, you have carried this channel like never before. We've had more people than ever make the courageous decision to bypass big tech and join our insiders club. We, we have direct access to one another that can never be interrupted by big tech overlords. Over the last seven days, we've seen literally thousands of you come to our rescue and you've done it in two ways. You have signed up for our free newsletter and you've officially joined our insiders club. Those two acts alone are enough for us to collectively stand together and never, ever have our relationship severed. So I'm inviting the rest of you to do the same today just by clicking on that link below and signing up for our newsletter and joining our Insiders Club. You are guaranteeing that there is nothing that big tech can do to get between us and make us feel like we're in a digital solitary confinement. It's as simple as clicking on the link below right now and opting into our free email newsletter. And once you do that, you can financially support us by joining our Insiders Club. Gang, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you enough for your support during a time like this. You are my heroes, and it will be my mission to express my appreciation for every single one of you each and every week. 